Hi, today we are going to study about reflection of light and spherical mirrors. These are the topics will be covered during the session. Introduction reflection, laws of reflection, image formed by a plane mirror, real and virtual image, spherical mirrors that is concave and convex mirror, representation of image formed by spherical mirrors using rare diagrams. What makes things visible? During the day, sunlight helps us to see objects. An object reflect light that falls on it. Here, we shall study the phenomenon of reflection of light using straight line propagation or rectilinear propagation of light. What is that? Which is a property of light which states that light is traveling in any one direction in a straight line. A ray of light is always represented by a straight line with an arrowhead. Arrowhead is indicating that light is traveling in that particular direction. A highly polished surface such as mirror reflects most of the light incident on it. This process is known as reflection of light. To understand reflection in detail, let us consider a mirror Draw around the mirror, draw a normal to the mirror surface, that is normal, which makes an angle 90 degree to the mirror surface. Consider a ray of light is incident on the mirror surface, makes an angle with respect to the normal, called angle of incidence, represented by small letter i, while the ray of light which gets reflected back also makes an angle with respect to the normal called angle of reflection represented by small letter r. Experiment shows that the angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection. Suppose if i is equal to 40 degree, r is also will be 40. After understanding reflection, you must also know its two imperative laws. The first one you have already learned, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Second one is the incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal must lie in the same plane. Now let's see how the image formed by a plane mirror. Consider a plane mirror. An object is placed in front of a plane mirror. A ray of light which is incident on the plane mirror is getting reflected back, represented by a red line. Another ray of light, represented by blue line, also incident on the mirror surface, getting reflected back. The arrow mark is indicating that light is traveling in that particular direction. Where do we get the image? What do we hear is, we extend this to reflected light rays. At somewhere behind the mirror, they both will meet at a point. There we get the image. What are the characteristics produced by a plane mirror? As you can see here, it's of same size, same distance from the mirror. It is laterally inverted, virtual, and it is upright. What is left-right reversal? You might have seen ambulance. Ambulance usually in a hurry. In order to convey the vehicle in front, that is an ambulance, it is written as laterally inverted. Mirror image. Your reflection in the mirror is actually reversed back, front to back. The image produced by the plane mirror can be real or virtual. Now let us understand the difference between real and virtual image. Real image 
the image formed when rays of light meet at a point after reflection virtual image the image formed when rays of light appear to meet at a point is called virtual image the second difference is the best example of a real image is one formed on a cinema screen the best example of a virtual image is a reflection in the mirror real images can be projected on a screen virtual images cannot be projected on a screen last difference is real images are inverted virtual images are erect that means upright or straight till now we have learned about plane mirrors now let us look into spherical mirror where it's a part of sphere there are two types of spherical mirrors concave mirror and convex mirror concave mirror whose reflecting surface is curved inwards but convex mirror whose reflecting surface is curved outwards so let us understand the difference between concave and convex mirror rays of light parallel to the principal axis after reflection from a concave mirror meet at a point that is on the principal axis but in convex mirror rays of light parallel to the principal axis after reflection from a convex mirror get diverged and appear to come from a point behind the mirror there are few basic and important parameters one needed to know while studying spherical mirrors the first one is center of curvature where it is a center of the sphere as you can see in this diagram this is a concave mirror which is a part of the sphere where c is the center of the sphere represented by the letter c pole is the center of the spherical mirror or the midpoint of the spherical mirror either concave either concave or convex principal axis is an imaginary line that is passing through the center of curvature and the pole and radius of curvature is the radius of this sphere or the distance between center of curvature and the pole represented by capital letter r next parameter is principal focus in a concave mirror rays of light parallel to the principal axis after reflection they meet at a point on the principal axis is called principal focus represented by a capital letter f the distance between the principal focus and the pole gives you the focal length there is also a relation connecting the radius of curvature and the focal length that is radius of curvature is equal to twice the focal length similarly in convex mirror rays of light parallel to the principal axis after reflection get diverged and appear to come from a point on the principal axis called principal focus we shall also study the formation of image by spherical mirrors using ray diagrams there are four rules for drawing ray diagrams in spherical mirrors first rule is in a concave mirror a ray of light parallel to the principal axis after reflection it passes through the focus or principal focus but in convex mirror a ray of light parallel to the principal axis after reflection they appear to diverge from the principal focus second rule is in a concave mirror 
a ray of light passes through the principal focus after reflection goes parallel to the principal axis but in a concave mirror sorry in a convex mirror rays of light directed towards the focus after reflection goes parallel to the principal axis third rule is in a concave mirror ray of light passing through the center of curvature after reflection is reflected back along the same direction in a convex mirror a ray of light directed towards the center of curvature after reflection is reflected along the same direction the last rule is in a concave or a convex mirror a ray of light which is incident at the pole is reflected back making equal angles with the principal axis what have we learned light seems to travel in straight lines mirrors form images of objects image can be real or virtual depending on the position of the object next class we will learn more about spherical mirrors and its image formation thank you